Hey everyone, this is Ben, and thank you for joining us on this episode of the Semper Gumby channel. It is a great day. It is Friday, and it is 70 somewhat degrees. And we are here, we're gonna be working on the truck, or start working on the truck. Uh, I got a group of guys coming next weekend to help me finish up some projects. Uh, and they're coming as far as Georgia and Kentucky. Uh, we're gonna whip this truck. Well, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. But anyway, they're, we're coming to do, or they are coming to do uh, some work on my Ram 1500. And then we're gonna hit the land between the lakes and do an overnight solo camping trip with some of the new equipment. As you can see, the cap is no longer here. And that's right. The truck cap camping uh, is no longer going to be on the ram because we got rid of the truck cap because we are going to do an install and a major major upgrades with some of our sponsors and some new equipment so let's go check out what we're going to be doing now while attending the southeast overland camping expo i was able to hook up with the guys from tua pro uh, tua pro was also uh, one of the sponsors for the content creators over at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo in Florida. And I am going to install um, one of the Tua Pro's uh, ship rock mid-height rack, uh, the 12 and a half inch um, overland rack in the back of my Ram 1500 today. Uh, I wanna thank uh, the guys at Tua Pro. This video is sponsored by Tua Pro. And I will put the links and description uh, in the box below. So let's go check it out. Let's go open the box. Let's see what's all included. And let's go ahead and start the build on the Ram 1500 for more. Okay, gang, before we even start the build, what I like to do is I like to unbox everything and lay everything out and separate it so I know what part goes where and I have everything kind of organized. So if I need to grab part A, part B, part C, I can just come to the table and go ahead and grab what I need. Now all the bolts and, every, and nuts are in here right here. Um, I haven't opened that bag yet, and we're going to go ahead and start with the feet or the, the bottom parts first and then work our way up. So let's go uh, grab some tools. Uh, we're going to probably use an impact uh, and a, a gun, and um, I believe these are some torque screws on here, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, gang, you can see everything's laid out, all organized, ready to go. Some of the tools you're gonna to need for this build is a 13 millimeter wrench, uh, I believe a four uh, torque um, wrench. They also say you need a torque wrench when you get done. Of course, you're gonna need a monster energy drink. Uh, I know it's pink, but this is zero sugar, ultra strawberry dreams, and uh, your, um, peer support or support emotional dog.
So these are the brackets that are gonna hold the braces down. And there's only one way they can go. If you have them the wrong way, you won't be able to see those, uh, the inserts, so. Now these bolts are gonna be the 13 millimeters. going to be the longer ones on here. So once you got them snug down, we'll move over to the other side. We'll get that done and then we'll put on the, the brace or the other part on there. And like I said, everything is just snug. They're not really tightened down uh, just because we're going to be moving stuff around and I've got to get the measurements for the rooftop tent. Um, and that will be the cross bars that go across. gang so we're moving along pretty good we got most everything in we just got to put the uh the sidebars on and then the top uh racks we're just going to leave those in kind of loosely uh, just for just for today because we don't know where um, i'm going to put the rooftop tent but as you can see it's looking pretty good we've uh measured uh i think we did 50 58 across and uh gives it a really good look actually uh, the truck's looking a lot different and uh pretty stoked how it's uh all right gang so we're almost done with uh putting on the side plates up of the uh, uh racks on the top but uh we're almost there and it only took about an hour about an hour and a half everything's still fairly loose because we don't know where we're gonna position the rooftop tent, but we're getting there. Uh, simple, simple install. Um, you know, all you need is a, a drill, a drill gun and uh, a 13 millimeter opening ratchet. Okay, so now we're gonna install the top brace. And these uh, braces are just gonna reinforce the rack. So when you put your rooftop tent on the top, it just gives it extra support. And these things from Tua Pro are so beefy. And man, these things are, solid i mean if you check it out it is amazing so i measured 46 and a half and i'm just gonna put the bolts in loosely there is a max line that you don't want to go past um but you know, you're not going to hit that line. I mean, if you're hitting that line, you are way, your bars are way too spread across. So I'm just going to put the nuts and bolts in loosely. And then when we get up there, I'll show you how um, you can get that in. And then we'll tighten everything up um, in a little bit here. But this rack is so super to install, really easy. Um, you just got to plan it out and if you have the right tools, you can get it done in, you know, under an hour. Um, I, I'm taking my time because I'm planning on putting some accessories and um, 
everything's sort of loose and then I'll go in and retorque everything especially uh, uh, once I get everything set up so okay now we got our cross piece kind of set up we're gonna go ahead and put it in and this is where it helps to take get two hands sometimes but uh, uh, what I use is I'll go ahead and use my shoulders And then I'll go do the other side. Just be careful because this thing is heavy. Just get your bolts in just enough to hold it. get it up you go ahead and just put a, a nut in there so it doesn't uh, fall out and that way you can do the adjustment just to be safe so from the top of the truck this is what it'll look like and then the rooftop tent will rest on that so this will just give it extra support. All right, well, there it is, gang. I just finished my install on my Tua Pro uh, Ship Rock Mid-Height 12 and a half inch rack. Man, it was so simple. All I needed is a couple of tools. And it, you know, within an hour, I've got this thing done. And it looks absolutely, I mean, this thing looks badass. And uh, I want to thank the guys over at Tua Pro, Don and Raphael and all the guys out there for uh, being a sponsor of today's video. But the rack, uh, this is just the beginning of the build, uh, getting ready for um, more expo. Now, if you want to check out the rack in person uh, and you're going to be at the more expo, uh, Tula Pro, Don, and Raphael and the gang are going to be at the exhibitor's booth there. And I will also be there on Storyteller Row. So come on and check it out. And uh, we'll be more than happy to tell you about the rack systems for your vehicle. So if you're looking to get one of these racks, let me tell you that the Shiprock Collection has been designed to efficiently increase your pickup truck cargo capacity and prove your space distribution for overlanding and camping adventures. Now, it's compatible with several other tonal covers and great variety of aftermarket accessories. I mean, just the way you can bolt up accessories to this. Now, I'm gonna be bolting up my uh, Max Tracks and also my um, Rota packs and some other accessories here before the more expos. Now, the length adjustability is the max length of these racks are 64 inches. Now, the rated capacity of these racks are unbelievable. Um, static is 800 pounds, okay? So that means as it sits right now, I can put 800 pounds on these racks. Now, dynamic is 300 pounds. So the difference between dynamic and static. Static means sitting, dynamic means moving. So I can put 300 pounds up here, um, like a rooftop tent um, and different accessories. And if I'm moving down the road, 300 pounds. Now installation does not require any kind of drilling or modification. All the holes and bolts, they bolt right up, okay? So 
This unique patent design uh, has a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects, and it comes with a three-year you know, warranty. Um, this thing is stout, man. This, I mean, you can shake the whole truck. I mean, this does not move. Now, they make these racks for a variety of trucks. I mean, if you go to their website at tuapro.com, um, and I'll put the links and descriptions in the box below. Uh, they make them for a bunch of vehicles. Now I went with the mid height, which is a 12 and a half inches because I am putting a rooftop tent on here. And the rooftop tent that I've got, uh, an OVS overland vehicle system, um, may be just perfect with the roof so I can get it in my garage. Also with this rack, Don and Raphael from Tua Pro also recommended that I get the four CX roofside bars and those go on the top and I'll show you that in just a second and uh, it just helps with stability now those bars allow for the users to connect the front and rear sections of the uh, bed rack systems providing more stability and support and they recommend using that when you uh, you're gonna put a rooftop tent on there now the 4CX roofside bars can be used as roof bars with multiple options to position them and adjust the distances to match any type of rooftop tent or basket. They can be used as sidebars as well to provide more mounting points um, you know, for accessories compatible with the Moab and the Shiprock sections. Uh, the max length of those bars are 52 inches and they only weigh 28 pounds and they are sold in pairs. So if you're going to get a rooftop tent, uh, they recommend you getting those, getting those bars because they help with distribution of the weight and stability. So anyway, um, that's it in a nutshell. Come see us up at more. Uh, as far as uh, to a pro in the vendor section and I'll be in the uh, storyteller row. So if you got any questions, pop them in the box below in the comments and I'll answer them as, as best I can. But until then, um, we are gonna continue the build and we're gonna finish this this weekend and then we're gonna hit the trails and we are gonna go camping with uh, several of uh, a couple of our buddies and uh, we're gonna probably hit the land between the lakes but uh and do a real overnight solo testing before we head out to more so anyway if you made it this far in the video please subscribe like and comment go ahead and hit that bell notification and then hit all notifications that way you're notified when uh, i post a new video now i got two channels i've got the gumby gear review where i post a lot of the gears uh reviews uh like power station batteries and all that and then i've got the semper gumby channel which deals with outdoor um kind of content like the brushy mountain state penitentiary uh, this one i will be putting on the semper gumby channel because we're dealing with the overland uh camping uh, uh theme genre so anyway thanks for watching and uh, if you're not a patron check us out on our patreon channel as well and uh, we'll catch you on the next video this is semper gumby out